Have you ever wondered how some people just seem to have that razor sharp focus for creating what they want in their lives? There's even people that claim they can hold an image in their mind and have it manifest in their life. Is it true? And if so, how are they doing it? And do we know how the hell it works? That's what I'm gonna be answering in this video. What's up everyone, it's Alex here at Conscious Personal Growth where I share strategies for personal transformation and techniques for bringing more of what you want into your reality. And after learning this super powerful technique and applying it on a regular basis, you'll be a lot closer to being able to do just that. Having the razor sharp focus you need to direct your energy in a clear direction, empowering you to manifest your dreams and desires into your reality. I've been using this technique for a few years now and it's helped me to move from a place of being alone and out of shape and unclear and undirected to a place where I've had many dates, new relationships, a body that's in a lot better shape than it used to be, trust me, where I've passed a coaching course and finally learned the skills I need to present myself on camera and create a growing YouTube channel. And I'm grateful to every single one of you who subscribed. You're making it all possible. This is all stuff that just a few years ago seems like a dream. But now I have the psychological tools I need to help me feel more confident that I can make even more happen and I'm gonna be sharing one of the most powerful ones with you now. Now this isn't a big secret. People have shared techniques like this in the past and give all kinds of reasons as to why it works. And there are probably many reasons as to why it does work. Some we may not have even discovered yet. There may even be something more mysterious at work here, but I'm gonna start with the basics and explain it in a simple way that's easy to understand and apply. This quote is attributed to Thomas Edison. Never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. Why? Because it's the idea that as you go to sleep, your brain waves are moving from a predominantly beta state, which is the state of normal waking consciousness, all the way down to a theta state, which only occurs during deep meditation, during sleep, and in a small window right before you drift off to sleep. And it's this small window of opportunity that we're interested in here, because it's the idea that during this theta state, just before we drift off, our subconscious mind is the most impressionable. And why would we want to make impressions on our subconscious mind? Why would we want to feed it with ideas, new beliefs, images, and feelings? Well, because believe it or not, it's responsible for most of what we do day to day. We like to feel like we're always in complete conscious control of our thoughts and impulses and actions, but have you ever wondered why sometimes you just get that idea for a particular tasty snack from a particular shop and then you just feel compelled to go buy it? Advertisers literally spend millions trying to plant ideas in our subconscious mind because they've spent millions on trying to find out how it works. When you're nice and relaxed watching TV or Netflix or YouTube, and when you're walking down the street in your own world and not really concentrating on your surroundings, they flash up adverts, which are like little packets of information that get lodged in your subconscious mind and later resurface as an impulse to buy something. And as they flash up their product, they link it to a feeling, an emotion. They show a family you know, looking all happy and contented and connected to each other as they tuck into a bargain bucket of fried chicken. They show someone looking all sophisticated as they sip on that classy lager in a sunny and cute little Italian seaside town. So the advertisers are impressing on your subconscious mind an idea in this case, their product, linked with an emotion. But you can do this on yourself, not to implant the idea of the latest McDonald's burger, link that with feeling good and create an impulse to do it like the advertisers do, but to implant the ideas of your goals and dreams and visions, link those with feeling good and create impulses to take action and make them happen. And 
You can do this right in the window of opportunity right before bed as you drift into that fetus state when the subconscious mind is the most impressionable and I'll explain how. And the subconscious mind is powerful beyond imagination. If you feed it an idea linked with an emotion, not only will it give you impulses to take action, but it will actually work out the necessary steps to reach that goal. The part of your brain that's responsible for controlling your attention will draw your attention towards opportunities and ideas that make your desired outcome more likely. Whilst you're fast asleep, your subconscious mind is learning and compiling information and in the coming days you'll get flashes of inspiration that will lead you to where you want to go. It will give you the trail of breadcrumbs and all you have to do is have some faith, follow the trail and take massive action. So here's what you're going to do. Just before you drift off to sleep tonight, lie on your back and take a few deep breaths to get you nice and relaxed. Pay attention to your body where there might be any tension and command your body to release. Give yourself a minute or two to do this. Gently scan your body, release any tension and get into a deep state of relaxation. Then, once you're nice and relaxed, what you're going to do is express gratitude. Now, this is a very powerful practice on its own, but it's also going to prime you for the next stage. What you're doing here is bringing back to memory things from the last day or two that you can be grateful for and reliving those events in your imagination. So perhaps you had a funny conversation with someone at work or perhaps you had a nice lunch that was particularly tasty or perhaps you just noticed a beautiful cloud formation and stopped for a second to appreciate it. Whatever these events were, you're using your imagination to relive one or two or three of those events in your mind's eye, and most importantly, you're trying to bring back the feelings associated with those events. And those feelings will get stronger the more you use your imagination and make it as vivid as possible, using all five senses to recreate them in your imagination. Then, once you've taken a few minutes to express gratitude, you're going to start visualizing what you want to create in your life. What type of people you want to bring into your life. What you want your body to look like. Where you want your business to be in a few years. And you do this in much the same way you did the first phase. You're using your imagination and all your five senses. It can be helpful to imagine that there's this huge 50 meter wide TV screen in front of you and the movie that's playing on it is the movie of your life in the coming future. So for example, if you're aiming to create a new successful restaurant, start imagining what it would look like from the outside, the architecture, the signage. See yourself walking into the restaurant, see nicely laid tables and decor, see incredible looking food being served by happy waiters and waitresses, hear customers telling you how great the food is and what an amazing experience they've had, see bundles of cash being put in the till and credit cards being swiped and generous tips on the table. And most importantly, feel the excitement and the satisfaction you will feel when this vision comes true. Another example, if you're aiming to bring a wonderful new relationship into your life, see yourself with that person. You don't have to be specific about the way they look if you don't want to, you can just keep it vague or see a silhouetted figure. But see yourself with this person who you just know you're really attracted to and see yourself doing fun things together that you like, going out on road trips, blaring out your favorite music, walking on the beach together, eating out together, or chilling in your apartment with a nice bottle of wine. And most importantly, feel the feelings you'd feel when you're with this person, the happiness, the love, the joy, and the connection. And do all this visualizing as you drift off into a nice, relaxing, deep sleep. And all this works the most powerfully when you get really clear on what you want and you repeat this on a regular basis. 
So you want to take some time to decide what your business or creative project is specifically going to look like or the, you know, the particular qualities you want your future partner to have. And you perhaps want to set yourself a commitment to do this every night. Of course, you can change your plans and desires over time if you need to tweak something, but try and be as clear and specific as possible. And once you've practiced this and you've got good at it and repeated it many times, things can get a little spooky. Of course, there's obvious psychological benefits to rehearsing things in your imagination whilst you're deeply relaxed, but sometimes it can just feel like you just like seem to get more lucky, that events just seem to like line up a lot better and opportunities and people that are conducive to your goals seem to come into your life more frequently. Sometimes it feels like the universe is showing you the path and that's why some people believe that there may even be a deeper metaphysical aspect to this. But perhaps it's just good goal setting, a good way of keeping more focused. Maybe thinking the power of the universe is somehow involved is just magical thinking and confirmation bias. But try it for yourself and see what you think and tell us in the comments below so we can learn from each other and grow. And of course, like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on conscious personal growth.